names. Okay. So, this is a message to all the young ladies who are interested, who, or who have never thought about trying for Miss Uganda. You never know when it is your time to shine. Come join us or prepare for the next season. And then to Uganda, please, please support your young ladies. You never know where this is going to take them. So I encourage you, support. Okay. Thank you. My audition was intense, but it was good. Why was it intense? Because I was nervous. I was really nervous, but I was excited to be there at the same time. And then you had questions that they asked you? Yeah, the question, um, my question was, uh, because I asked me to talk about myself and why I, I've come to the contest. And then my question that I think impressed them was, uh, they, they asked me, we are going to ask you one question that the girls have been facing. Then I was like, hey. Mm -hmm. So she asked me, Miss Bagaya, she asked me, who is the current Miss Central? So I answered it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was so happy that I, that I knew the question. Do you think you made it to the next one? I think so. I think. I think I made it. Yeah. Thank you. Before, I was quite nervous. My first question: Why is a striking quality that sets women apart from men? It's creativity. To me, a woman who is creative is totally different. It makes that woman very different from man. Because, firstly, women are creative in this way. A woman will try very hard. Will will find ways to to feed the children, to lift herself up, and they are very, very hopeful. Thank you. Uh, let me answer you, maybe you take a second to me. What is the striking quality, the striking quality that sets women apart from men? What is that thing that women have or can do or do? In the middle of that, that women do or we can do as what is the striking point that you have that sets you apart from the men? Me personally, I'll repeat. I'm very creative. That makes me different from a man in a way that I I find everything useful. And uh, unlike a man, men are straightforward, they look at uh, like they look straight to the money, they look for money, but a woman will, will figure out a way to keep herself and her family in a good condition. So I feel creativity to me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the general question? If you had a chance to discuss a social issue with world leaders, what would it be and how would you go about finding solutions? If I had a, a chance to meet us, actually, uh, uh, if I had a chance to meet leaders, the first issue I would address to them it is prostitution. We are living in a sad generation with beautiful pictures. You find girls out there taking nice selfies, dressing well, but uh, they are sad. You get me personally. I'm sorry to bring this on on the table. We own a guest house, and I get a chance to interact with these girls. So these girls try to keep a living in prostitution. They try to look good, but they are doing prostitution, which is not right. And uh, leaders here take it to be like that. There is a way they have uh, tolerated it. It's not, leaders are not focusing on it so much. They have neglected it, and you find very many girls on the street doing prostitution. So that would be the issue I would address to them. And what would be the solution? The solution is to, I personally, I would uh, advise, I would advise them to, I would advise them, I mean,
girls out there and you probably know where they're coming from. Some think prostitution is a way to earn a living. So when someone is not proud of uh, their background, let me say if your parents are from a humble background and you're not proud about that, be like, I'm going to force life out there, come watch me, I have to be there. So I'll have to tell them a, a story of my life. I, I grew up in a very, very fancy house, but then uh, my mom out there, I didn't about my mom. My mom was living uh, a pleasant, uh, was living in a very, I don't know how to express, uh, how to express. Once I get away, once I got a chance to meet my mom, uh, at a point, now we need to remember, mommy, I never grew up with my mom, so I saw her the first, the first time. But if you did, if I grew up in that, my auntie's house when I'm when I'm up there, I, like, I don't know about this, this background. I don't know how to express.
Okay. And if you had a chance to discuss a social issue with any world leaders, what would you tell them and what solutions would you suggest? Thank you for that question. My issue would be sexual harassment because the most disappointing thing in Africa especially is that girls are not aware of the very of the different things that are surrounded by sexual harassment because it may just be a tap on the bum, sorry to my language, or it might just be a simple gesture and you will not know that it's sexual harassment. And that is like one of the biggest challenges that are being faced by girls in this country and in Africa at large. So I would recommend that there will be seminars for men to be told how to deal with women, how to handle women, how to respect women, and not just look at them as objects of beautiful things that pass by and they feel like they have the right to talk. And then I would also recommend that women are also given classes on the diversity of sexual harassment so that they can know how to fight back, not to be born here, but fight back like mentally, emotionally, and yeah, I hope for it.